Hi, I'm Faisan with CallHub, and today I'm going to walk you through how to set up your first call center campaign. You're going to learn how to set up your script, add your contact list, and everything else you need to know before you make your first call. Let's jump right in. So to start your call center campaign, you want to click create under the call center tab. Now if your dashboard doesn't look like this, don't worry. All you got to do is go to the campaigns tab, click new campaign, and select call center from the drop down menu. So now we're at the create campaign dashboard. And the first thing you want to do is give your campaign a name. So for this video, let's say I'm inviting my contacts to a fundraising dinner that I'm hosting and I want to see if they're able to come. So for the name, I'll go with something simple like fundraising dinner. Now keep in mind, if you're running multiple campaigns across various areas, it might make more sense to have the name a little more specific. But for now, let's keep it simple. Right, now the next step is adding a script. CallHub offers two types of scripts linear scripts and branching scripts. Let's go through linear scripts first. So a linear script is just a series of paragraphs and questions that you want your agent to ask your caller. This is great if you're just sending simple updates, reminders, or if you want people to RSVP to an event that you're hosting, like this. So here's how you create your linear script. You go down here and what do you want to add? And first you click paragraph. So first, I want my agent to introduce himself. So let's say something simple like, Hi, I'm calling from the green team. And we're hosting a fundraising dinner on Friday. And then I hit save. Now you can see that the introduction has been added to our script. If I wanted to edit this script, all I have to do is click the edit button and I can edit the text in the pop-up over here. Now let's say I want to personalize my text a little bit more. So instead of just saying hi, I want to say hi John, hi Sam, you know, basically taking the first name of the contact I'm calling. So how do you do that in CallHub? Pretty simple actually. You just go next to hi, then you press the personalize button and you click the first name tag. What this does is it grabs the first name from the contact list you uploaded and adds that to the script when your agent is reading them. If you haven't added a contact list yet, don't worry, we'll get to that in a bit. But for now, let's continue. So, hi Sam, I'm calling from the green team and we're hosting a fundraiser dinner on Friday. Let's save the changes and go to the next step. So now that we've introduced ourselves, let's ask the question. So here I go under the introduction I just added and I hit question. In the pop-up, I choose multiple choice. So here let's ask a question. Do you think you will be able to attend? And for the options, let's keep it simple, yes and no. So when the agent asks this question, depending on what the caller chooses, he'll be able to tick yes or no for that specific contact. This is great if you're segregating a list and you want to know which people have RSVP'd and which people you want to maybe target in a follow-up campaign. Now to round things off, I want my agent to say thank you for their time and have a good day. So I'll just add a third paragraph here saying thank you for your time, have a nice day, save. And there you have it. You just created your first script on CallHub. Now before we proceed, let me just go through branching scripts for a sec. So branching scripts are great if you want your script to change depending on the answer that the caller gives. For example, in this question, do you think you will be able to attend the fundraising dinner? If they say yes, that's great, you just thank you for their time and you end the call. But if they say no, maybe you want your agent to follow up with another question. For example, would you like to donate in other ways, through a link perhaps? So, this is just an example of some ways where branching scripts could really up your campaign. For now, I have a simple script ready and now I'm ready to move on to the next stage. Text follow-up. Text follow-up means sending a simple text to the contact after the call has ended. This is helpful, for example, if somebody chooses to come to the dinner, you want to follow up with the text with some additional information. For example, 
where the dinner will take place or what time. So to do that, I'll go to the text follow-up tab, click on automated text. First, we'll just give a name here saying attending follow-up. And under here, I'll put the other details of the event. For example, the location, which will be City Hall, and the time, which is 8 p.m. Now you gotta add a disposition for the call. So when the call gets tagged as a certain thing, this text will be fired. So for now, for the disposition, I'll just put meaningful interaction. There. Now once we set up our script, we can now move on to tagging. Tagging is basically a tool used by the agents to mark a call a certain way. So for in this example, we'll have two tags, attending and not attending. I've already added the tags here, so I'm just going to add them to my campaign. But if you haven't added, let me show you how to add it real quick. You click the Add New Tag button over here, which takes you to the Settings tab. And if you come to the right, you can add any tag you want. Simply by clicking Add, and there you go. You've just added a tag. That's great. Now, suppose you're using a CRM and you want to import the tags from there, you can do that in this section. CallHub integrates with all the popular CRMs. So if you want to figure out how you want to integrate CallHub to your CRM, check out the help guide in the link below. Great. Let's move on to the next step. Adding your contact list. If you've already uploaded it, you can simply search for it here and CallHub will add it to your campaign. If you haven't, and you want to add a new contact list, simply click the Add a Contact List button. This will open a new tab with the Contact List section. And over here, you want to import your new contacts. So you click the Import Contacts button. You choose the CSV file with all your contact information. For me, it's Dinner List. And just give it a name. So I'm going to put dinner guest list. Now I'll click import. Once you've uploaded your contact list, CallHub will ask you to map the values inside CallHub to the columns in your contact list. What does that mean? Well, remember earlier we put the first name tag? Basically, you just got to tell CallHub which column has the first names. So over here, I'm going to select first name for the first name column. I'm going to choose email for the email column and phone number for the phone column. For now, this is enough. So I'm just going to click create contact list now. Now it'll take some time for CallHub to upload your contact list. This is a small list, so it'll probably take a second or two, but with contact lists going up to the thousands or tens of thousands, this could take a few minutes. So we'll come back when that's done. All right, so once we've uploaded our contact list, let's add it to our campaign. So this is dinner guest list. There you go. Now after that, under here, you'll see a manage DNC with two checkboxes. What this is, is basically making sure that you don't end up calling people who have opted out of the campaign. This will help save you from a lot of legal trouble. Well, as you know that some jurisdictions have laws that prohibit you from calling certain people. So you want to make sure this checkbox is ticked. Now the second checkbox is don't call litigators. CallHub keeps an up-to-date list of certain numbers that are associated with litigators or people who will take action against you if you end up calling them. So stay on the safe side and make sure both these boxes are checked. Sort call order, same as contact list, that's great. The next section is numbers used as caller ID. So this is basically what number CallHub will use to call your contacts. You can either rent a new number or you can choose a number which you've already used in the past. Now I'm using the demo account so we already have a number but otherwise you might have to rent a new number for yourself. Please note that these values will change based on the state you're calling from or the country. The next thing you need to set up is dynamic caller ID. Now, this is optional, but it does help improve your pickup rates. What this does 
is basically matches your contact's area code with the number you're calling from. So if your contact has the area code of plus 91, CallHub will make sure to call them with a number with plus 91 in the beginning. This does this automatically, so you don't have to worry about it. You can either rent a new block for $100 a month, or you can use one that you've rented for a previous campaign. The next thing you can turn on is Spam Label Shield. And this makes sure that your numbers don't get labeled as spam. How we do this is every time you make a call, CallHub checks the health score of that number. So after a certain point, certain numbers are classified as spam. When that happened, CallHub removes that number from your block and adds a new fresh number to make sure all the calls you make don't end up with the spam label. This is pretty good in terms of increasing pickup rates, so I'm gonna turn it on. Now there is a small charge for it, but the increased pickup rates make it well worth it. Now number uses text ID is the same thing as caller ID, but for the automated text that you've set up earlier. You can either rent a new number, use a previously rented number, or use a 10 DLC number. Now finally, you get to choose what dialer you're using. CallHub offers a number of dialers for different different situations. A power dialer calls the numbers one by one. It still needs human interaction for you to click next call, but this is great if you want your agents to save time and get through as many calls as possible. Auto dialer dials multiple numbers for one agent. The first number that gets picked up gets sent to the agent while the remaining either go to voicemail or get added back in the queue. This is great if you have a huge contact list and you need to get through it as fast as possible. Here you can set the ratio, either one to one, which means one call will be made for one agent, two to one, which will mean two calls will be made for one agent. The first one that picks up talks to the agent and the other one goes to voicemail, or three, four, or five. Here you can see what will happen to the dropped calls. Either they just hang up or you can play a pre-recorded voicemail. Predictive dialer is great when you have a large list and a lot of agents and you want to get through it as fast as possible. We use an algorithm to determine how many calls to make per agent and when the call gets picked up, it automatically gets transferred to an agent. This ensures that your agent does not waste any time in between calls and they're always closing. Patch through calling is an option you can turn on, which lets your agent connect their caller with the decision maker. This is great for political campaigns. So for example, if you're talking to a voter on the phone, you can connect that voter directly to the candidate if you want further information. This is not really applicable in our situation, so I'm gonna leave that off. The next button is allow agents to dial into this campaign. This basically means you're letting agents use their own phone and phone number to dial into the campaign. Now again, this doesn't really apply to our use case, so I'm gonna leave it off. So now that we've set up our contact list and selected the dialer we wanna use, let's move on to the next step, inbound calling. Inbound calling is useful for when your agent calls someone and they're unable to pick up the call. This contact can then choose to call back on the same number to hopefully talk to that agent. Now, this isn't applicable for our campaign per se, but let me just break it down for you anyway. So if we go back to our dashboard and I turn on inbound calling, I can see that I can leave a welcome message for our contact. You can either upload your own voicemail or you can use our text-to-speech tool to leave a message explaining why we made the call in the first place. So here I have a simple script saying thank you for calling. We were inquiring about a fundraising dinner and if you want more information, please visit our website. Now, if that person does call during operational hours, as in your agents are on call, there is a chance that that contact can then talk to that agent. So here we can add some hold music for when that contact calls, because obviously your agent will probably be busy on another call. And you can choose to upload your own music or you can use one that we've provided over here. So that contact will then be able to listen to the music until that agent uh, can answer the call. You can even set a maximum hold time for that contact. Uh, over here, I think two minutes is a good time. And if that two minutes elapses, you can leave a uh, thank you message or give them more instructions on how they can reach you. So great, we've set up inbound calling for our campaign. Let's go on to the next step, assigning agents. So if I click next, we're now in the agents tab of the campaign dashboard. Here, you can choose to assign your entire agents to the campaign, or you can start to specify which ones you want. 
Now, since this is a demo account, there are a lot of agents uploaded here, but I don't want all of them to be part of this campaign. So I'm gonna click specific agents over here and type in Pooja and Varun. So great, we've added some agents to the campaign. Now I wanna inform them that I've done so. And we can do that through the next section over here, notify agents on mobile app. So if you don't know by now, CallHub is not just a desktop app. We have a mobile app for volunteers and agents so they can join the campaigns from anywhere they want. And I have two checkboxes here, which are automatically ticked by the way, which one alerts them that they've joined a new campaign and two alerts them every day about from when to when they can start making calls. This helps to ensure that your campaign is uh, compliant and you're not calling people outside of the designated times. Under settings, you have a few more options you can choose as an admin. You can choose to record all calls or you can allow your agents to take notes on the calls they take. You can even set a max call duration. Uh, this is just to ensure that, you know, if somebody forgets to hang up, you're not spending exuberant amounts of money for nobody talking. Great. So now we've set up our agents as well. Now this section is very cool. This is our AI powered call sentiments. Before, managers used to sort through countless transcripts, trying to understand how their campaign did and how their calls went. Now, using AI, CallHub will analyze all the transcripts for you and it will give you actionable information about your campaign. Now there's a lot to cover here and we've already done that in a previous video. So if you're interested, do check that out. We'll put the link in the annotations and also in the link below. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna turn them on just to show you what it can do. So the goal AI has come up with by reading our script is to boost attendance for the green team's fundraising dinner, which I think is pretty accurate, so I'm gonna keep it. But if you're not happy with the goal, you can always click the revise goal and it'll try to come up with something that better suits your needs. Of course, if you're still not happy with it, you can even edit it exactly how you want it. So I'm just gonna say, get more attendees to the fundraising dinner. Great. Now AI can also categorize your calls based on how it went for you. So in our example, they can either be positive, that they're coming to the dinner, negative, they're not coming, or they're on the fence and maybe you can convince them later to come. So AI can take care of all of that for you and categorize these calls into different lists. So uh, here we can see that AI has already suggested will attend, won't attend, and undecided, which is perfect for what we're going for. I'm just gonna click next. Now the last step to setting up your call center campaign is scheduling. You wanna make sure your agents don't end up calling your contacts in the middle of the night. So setting up schedules for your campaign helps ensure that that doesn't happen and also keeps your campaign safe from any legal pushback. Because as you know, some jurisdictions have laws on when you can call uh, your contacts. So here, you can set a start date, you can set a finish date, and you can also set your campaign's time zone, which for our example, we're gonna use Los Angeles. You can also select this call people in their time zone for when you have uh, contacts from different parts of the country and you want to ensure that all of them are being called at the right times. Now, if you want to specify even further, you can uh, edit the times over here. For example, you don't want to call them during the work time. You want to call them from 5 to 9 p.m. You can do that by editing it over here. So 5 p.m. would be 17 to 21. Works great. And we don't want to call them on the weekends. So there you have it. You just set up your first call center campaign with CallHub. This is a very powerful tool and we can't wait for you to start using it and start making an impact for your cause. Stay safe. Until next time, happy campaigning.